So hey, awesome ones. Now the colder and the fall weather, what it really means is that we have to start taking the pieces out of our wardrobe and kind of putting them together into outfits and layering. And in this video, I want to talk about, you know, classic and chic and elegant looks. And I've put several together for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do part of the video in kind of my runway style that I used to do back in the day when I was a model. Hey, this, this is going to be informative, but most of all, it's going to be some fun. So let's go. And stay tuned till the end of this video because you could be wearing the most gorgeous, most expensive outfit, but there's five tips that I'm going to have for you that will make or break an outfit. So the first outfit that I want to show you involves a lot of pieces that you can probably just get right out of your closet right now, and it's the classic white and black look. Now, even though I say all the time, don't wear black all the time, sometimes this is one of those chic and elegant looks that all of us can pull off. So let's take a look. And you can see here that um, I've paired my black turtleneck with a black blazer and black pumps. Now I love the feel and look of these stretchy pants from Ruby Road and they're white so it kind of sets the whole outfit off and they're available from Amazon for $50. And since zebra prints are trending, um, this is just a very lightweight zebra scarf from Amazon for about $8. And add a pair of sunglasses and a purse with a chain strap that's really trending right now and you're looking very chic. And by the way, if you like denim and jeans and t-shirts, I'm gonna have a new video coming up on the casual clothes that you can wear for fall and winter in those colder days. And uh, let's take a look at my next outfit. And in this outfit, uh, I got a brand new rust color blazer and the rust color is really trending for this season. I bought it from Amazon and I really like it. It was $44. Now the big question I get a lot of times is, should you or shouldn't you wear leopard prints? And my answer is yes, you should, but sparingly. I find that wearing a print like this, it gives me a bit of an edgy feeling and it's from Amazon again for $23 and speaking about edgy how about this rust hat from H&M I just got it it was around $20 and I have a stretchy pencil skirt in black uh, very very chic and it was about $37 from Amazon and of course I'm going to have links below the description for you and I guess a lot of you are kind of wondering you know why is she showing me all this Amazon you know these Amazon fashions and I have to tell you that during the pandemic, I couldn't go to the mall. I couldn't go to stores. So I thought to myself, okay, really haven't bought a lot from Amazon, but let's try it out. And I was truly pleasantly surprised. Now I had a little bit of a learning curve with the sizing. You have to look at the size charts. As a matter of fact, this dress that I'm wearing, it's an extra large. So make sure that you're doing that and checking out the size charts. And I think you're gonna be happy too. So one of the trending styles that I saw at the mall, and if you haven't seen my mall video, what I'm going to do is put it at the end of this video. There'll be a link there for you, but I was shopping at the mall and look at the, at the colors and the styles. But anyway, I regress. <laughs> Let's talk about what I found at the mall and take a look at these vests. Now, they're very, very nice, but for us women of a certain age with a little bit of a, a tummy, if you know what I mean, the crop ones don't work out that well. So what I decided to purchase was this one and it's a longer version of the vest and it was from Maritzia. It was about $60 and it came in different colors. And here I am wearing it with, you could wear it with a, a white shirt or you could wear it with a t-shirt, but I chose a white lace shirt uh, underneath. And also I have a pair of beige pants. They just came from my clothes closet. This is an old coach bag that I have and tuck the vest in the side of your pants for a little bit more style. 
So another question that I get is, can you wear blue jeans and still look classy? And my answer is a resounding yes. Mind you, I wouldn't be wearing those super distressed jeans. And I also find that wearing a darker wash looks a lot classier. And what I'm wearing here are the uh, jeans from Lee. They're called Lee Sculpting Jeans. Very stretchy, just love them. They're kind of like a, a pull-on pant too. And so they really help to bring in the tummy. They're available from Amazon for $37. And you know, I, I also like about these pants is the fact that I can roll the bottoms up if I don't want to wear boots and then I can wear them with my sneakers and I got a kind of boyfriend jean kind of look and I also got this brand new trench coat just got it from Calvin Klein it's also available from Amazon and what you're probably noticing here are a lot more name brands are jumping on with Amazon and this is about $120 and I also have a striped shirt underneath it again from Amazon for about $17. So you may have noticed this lovely little wrap dress. It's got the ruching on it and everything that I've been wearing throughout the video. And what I decided to do right now is I just added a scarf because this is the kind of dress that you might want to wear, you know, after work, but you want to kind of wear a scarf or something during work. So that works for you. And this dress is available again from Amazon. Uh, it's about $42 and it's in the long sleeve as you can see. Uh, it's also available in short sleeves and I think that's about $30 and there's lots and lots of colors and again look at the size charts with these but uh, again I'm going to have the links below for the Amazon and some of the other stores but let's take a look with me with this dress on underneath a camel coat. Now I already have a camel coat but I thought to myself you know what I'm going to buy this one from Calvin Klein and Amazon and just see if I like it and you know I really really do it's about a hundred dollars and I paid for it with my own money and I'm going to keep it I really think it's lovely it's a little lighter weight than my other camel coat so uh, it just it just adds that little bit of elegance to your fall weather wear or your winter weather wear and it's just so beautiful so I promised you some more tips, so let's take a look at what I've got here. And the first of all, we want to talk about grooming. So it's really important that, you know, you're wearing this elegant outfit and that you've done your nails and your hair isn't frizzy. So grooming, of course, is important. And the second one that I have here is make sure that your clothes are clean and fitted. Hey, you know, I take my clothes into the dry cleaners a lot of times. And, you know, if my arm, if my sleeves are too long or my pants are too long, there, there's a tail there and he just fixes everything so that's a really good point as well and number three one of the things my grandma always said to me and is that's Heather wear a little bit of rouge and a little bit of lipstick and I really think that especially if you've got those sunglasses on a little bit of a red lip let's say it just really really brings the class to an outfit and let's take a look at the next one okay another one my grandmother said number four is make sure that your shoes are like not scuffed up and if you're wearing white running shoes maybe stay away from the canvas running shoes go for the full leather or the leather and keep them clean because you can keep them clean a lot better that way and my fifth tip is confidence and posture and being a model I had to have you know great posture and it's so important so I know I've been slouching around sometimes for the past year or so but it's important that we walk straight and with confidence so let's talk about confidence just for a second because confidence is the thread that's interwoven in between all of the videos that I sent to you and it's so important for me that you do have that confidence when you put on that camel kind of coat and you go I look good you know I, I just want you to have that youthful zeal and and just go out into the world and kind of 
strut your stuff. Do they still say that? <laughs> but anyway, that's what's important. We need to, you know, we're getting older. Yeah, yes. So what, right? What's important is that we kind of say, so what? And we look at aging as a gift. And a lot of you know, my mom passed away at 51. And that's another reason why I'm here doing these videos because every year we need to embrace the years and not just dread them. So let's do this for our daughters and for the younger women that are, you know, we don't want them to dread aging. We want them to be saying, hey, you know, my mom, she looks really great and she's 68 years old or she's 70 or she's 50 years old, whatever it is. Let's, let's make sure that we are the light that they're looking at and let's make it really, really awesome and let that one person that they're looking at that they really look up to be you.